This tutorial is going to show you how to install Godot with Nakama to get started using it as soon as possible. We're not going to dive in the details of what is Docker, which we're going to use, and things like these. You have links in the description below to answer more questions. We're going to need two things to install Nakama and the Nakama Godot client. First is Docker. There's a link to this page in the description below. If you are on Windows or Mac OS, you can download Docker Desktop and install it like any program. It's going to install everything we need. If you are on Linux, I'm going to show you on Ubuntu how to install it. Uh, I'm going to use the command line here and I'm going to say uh, apt install and we want docker.io followed by docker compose. I have them installed here already, so it's not going to install anything else, but you will need these two components to run your Nakama server. Once you have that installed, the next part is the Godot Nakama client. To use it, we have to download this add-on and place it in our Godot project. I'm gonna create a new Godot project, so I'll open the Godot game engine, new project, let's call it uh, Nakama test, and I prepared a directory called Nakama Tutorial. I'll select it, create and edit the project. This is just so I set up my directory with some files down there. Now, if I go back to the Nakama Godot repository, you can go to the releases tab and download the Nakama zip file. Now it's downloaded. I'm going to click on the zip file to open it. And I have my add-on directory that I want to copy into my Nakama tutorial there. So I'll drag and drop it. And there you go. You have the good old Nakama client in your project. It's almost ready to use. We still need to add Nakama.gd as an auto load in Godot. So heading back to Godot, I'm going to go to project, project settings, auto load and I want to go find the nakama.gd file. So I'll dive down to add-ons, com.hericlabs.nakama, double click nakama.gd and add it. All right, so now in Godot, we've added an auto load to access the Nakama API from our scripts. That does not set up our server. It's just the client side. So now you can quit Godot I'm gonna head back to my project's root directory and I'm going to fold all that into a subdirectory. I'll call it my Godot project and create a new one called Nakama. This one is going to hold the configuration for the server, but also the code that you might want to run server side. We want to let Docker set up the Nakama server for us. Download Nakama and download the database program called CockroachDB. To do so, we are going to use Docker Compose. It's going to compose several containers and download all the programs they depend on. So in the documentation, you have that section linked in the description below where you have a sample configuration file. It's going to set up the database here and then it's going to set up Nakama. It describes how to download like the dependencies but also the commands to run to start the server. So let's copy that and we're going to go back down to our project folder in the Nakama subdirectory. I'll open it in my terminal here. I'm first going to create an empty docker-compose.yaml file and then I'm going to uh, open it in Emacs like so in my text editor. So I'll paste the content of the file and it's mostly good. There's one thing that we want to do to set up our project is to set a server key, a unique key when we run Nakama. So if you look at the text here, you have a services category or a set of settings. First, you have some settings for CockroachDB and then for Nakama. So it's under that Nakama part that we run commands for Nakama. And you can see them in the entry point here. These lines are going to run some commands. Anyway, the one we're interested in is the one that says exec. I'm going to uh, zoom in a bit here. Exec Nakama with a given name, database address. And we want to add another option to that command that's going to set the server key. So dash dash socket dot server underscore key. 
It's very important that you write it that way. And then you can give your server a unique key that you will use from Godot to connect to it. So we chose Nakama Godot demo for our demos here. Save that. You can then close the window. I'm gonna close that as well. Now you need your terminal open in that Nakama directory where you have the Docker Compose file. And then you can say Docker Compose. So this is the name of the Docker Compose program. And you say up. Up is going to start the programs or the containers described in your Docker Compose configuration file, but it's also going to download any program it lacks. It's going to set everything up for you. So I press enter and it's going to recreate a database. It's going to download Nakama if necessary. For us here, it's not necessary because we already installed it in another directory. So I have CockroachDB and Nakama somewhere and it started the server here. That's what you can see in the command line at the bottom. It's saying startup done. So for you, it might download files. It might take a bit more time, but at this point, you're ready to get started uh, coding with Nakama and Godot. This guide was to get you started as fast as possible. Now, if you're going to spend time working with Nakama, you might want to better understand Docker. You can find a link to the Nakama documentation in the description below to learn more about it. In the next part, we are going to get started coding in Godot, and we're gonna talk about how to authenticate users with the Nakama server. See you in the next part.